Have you ever noticed how easily you can split a thin piece of wood along the grain? But it's almost impossible to pull apart. But did you know that they use these same principles in the production of plywood? For example, the plies are laid so the grains run in opposite directions. That's where it gets its strength. Well, today we're in the Pacific Northwest and we're going to show you how plywood is made. At the Hardell Mutual Plywood Plant in Washington State, they turn out nearly 8 million sheets of plywood each year. Manufacturing plywood is a hands-on job that requires a well-choreographed team working together with speed and finesse. It all starts at the lumber yard, where giant logs of Douglas fir pine are cut into sections 8 feet in length. The sections are then loaded into a giant automated lathe that quickly peels them to the size of a fence post. This is how the veneer is made. The peeled log comes out as a thin sheet of wood a sixteenth of an inch thick and up to a hundred feet in length. That long sheet of veneer is then cut into plies about four and a half feet wide and eight and a half feet long. So this is where the plies come into the plant. This is a dryer? Yeah, this is a 20 section dryer. This is where we take the moisture out of the veneer, which comes in, in the, at its raw state. We heat up the veneer anywhere from 300 to 375 degrees. That makes the veneer have a uniform moisture content of right around 8%, 7 or 8%. That helps keep the panels more dimensionally stable? Yes, it does. This dryer is nearly as long as a football field. When the veneers come out of the opposite end, they're dry and ready for inspection and grading. Tell me a little bit about grading. Why is that important? That's important because of the different grades of plywood. Uh, it's whether the piece gets put in an inner ply on a back. That's the sheets in between, right? Yes, it is, the inner layers. Uh, it's also taken over and repaired with wood repairs. What this operator is doing, he's actually repairing the holes from knots. Since wood is a natural material, it naturally has knots from branches and so forth. So what this operator is doing is this machine actually cuts a plug out of the veneer so that what happens is, is that that machine actually puts that plug right in the face of the veneer so that it's all smooth, strong, and uniform. After the veneers have been graded and repaired, it's time to start setting up the plywood. This machine applies resin or glue to the plies that will form the center of the plywood. These workers put the outside layers down by hand. Dave, it looks like uh, this is really where it all happens. This looks like this is where they're laying up the plywood. Sure, yeah, this is where we take the uh, raw materials we've just dried back on the other side of the mill. Uh, we bring them here, we apply glue to both sides. Uh, we put the inner plies perpendicular to the face, the back, and the center. That makes it strong, right? That's, that's where we get the strength of plywood, yes. Uh, that also determines how thick we're going to make it, how many layers we make the plywood. Well, you know, if I look at this, it looks like this is going to be about a two-foot thick piece of plywood. The way we separate these is they put down two pieces at the same time so that when he hand feeds it in over here, he can separate it. Well, this is actually several sheets of plywood. Now, these guys work really hard. How many pieces can they do a day? It depends on the thickness, but generally 2,500. That is amazing. After the plies are laid up, they're loaded into this huge oven that stands more than two stories tall. The plies will remain in here under intense heat and pressure for up to 10 minutes. When they emerge from the opposite end of the oven, the plies have been firmly bonded together. So Dave, this press here uh, is where the plies are compressed together to get its strength? Exactly. This is where the uh, chemical re reaction starts in the glue, which, and the pressure forces that glue into the pores of the wood which creates the, uh, the bond, the finished product. So finished bond, how many pounds pressure does this press uh, pressurize to? It goes up to 2,000 pounds a square inch. And how hot does it get? I see steam rolling off of it. It gets up around, we press it around 300 degrees. This here feels really hot, actually. Yeah, it is. That's, that's the chemical reaction in the glue. Once the heat's applied to the glue, it starts a reaction in there that uh, forces the glue along with the pressure into the wood. Into the pores of the wood? Into the pores of the wood. So basically that's how the plywood gets its strength, is how it's adhered together as well as its cross lamination. Yeah. After the rough edges have been trimmed off, each sheet of plywood is visually inspected for any defects. The last step is packaging where the plywood sheets are bundled and boxed up for shipping. And the final destination could be the walls of your new house.